live from the Fox 29 studios. This is Good Day Philadelphia. What do we make in Philadelphia, the Philadelphia area? We got your tasty cakes, you got your cheesesteak, you got your pretzels, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know gin is made in the Philadelphia area? Really? You, know, you always think about England, right? No. We're making gin. I'll show you how it's made after the break. Guess what's in the box? What's in the box, Mike? I'm going to show you. All right. Now, I went over, we talked about tasty cakes. Mm -hmm. uh, you got your pretzels, cheats. You know, Philadelphia is known for all these great Water things. ice. Water ice, that's right. But you know what we're making now in the Philadelphia area? What? Gin. It's called Blue Coat Barrel Gin. Look at this. Well, as we all know, gin is made, distilled, manufactured in England. Well, this is an aha moment for me because I am in Northeast Philadelphia, just off of Byberry Road, at Philadelphia Distilleries. They're the folks that make Blue Coat Gin, pretty famous gin. And here's one of the distillers, Aaron. Aaron, good to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. And I like the fact that we're off Byberry Road because I had no idea that gin started with juniper berries. That's the base of gin? Yeah, it's the primary botanical. Where do you get these? Uh, we get these um, from Eastern Europe, yeah. from uh, Romania, I think. From Romania, but still, again, you're distilling gin in the Philadelphia area. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know your blue coat. Yep. That's clear. Yes. Yeah. All, uh, most gins are unaged, and so they, they're yeah. clear. They come off the still clear. But because this is Philly and we like to do things differently, right. the blue coat folks are making kind of honey-colored gin. How does that happen? What is going on behind you? So uh, the process starts the same for both of the products. We, um, we distill them in our hand-hammered copper still that we got from Scotland. It, uh, it comes off and it's clear like normal blue coat, yeah. um, but it's very strong when it first comes off. Fill up a flask so we can uh, sample it. Here we go. Am I in it? Yep. Oh. There's a little bit. Yeah, you can let it fill up a little bit more than that. I probably don't need more than that. <laughs> okay, this is done. Uh, maybe. We haven't tasted these yet, so you're the first one. It's uh, a little strong. Yeah, it's be 120 proof. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Dang. Normally, we uh, we water it down to 94 proof, and we put it in this bottle. Okay. But um, for this product project, we uh, we watered it down a little bit less than that, and we filled some barrels. And that turns it to honey color. And you also get, yeah, you get this great color so out of the product as well. Does it taste different than clear? Yeah. A little bit. So I went into a packaged liquor store mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania, and I looked at that, and they said, that's gin. They go, gin isn't honey-colored. So, And then he goes, you know that they make that here in Philadelphia? So I said, i got to try this. So here it is. Mm -hmm. now, I know what regular gin tastes like. Mm -hmm. I like it better than the clear. So you can't get this anywhere else in the world, and it's made in Philly. Correct. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Blue coat, barrel, barrel finish. Yep, barrel finish, barrel reserves. Sorry. <laughs> did you just say finish? I did. <laughs> now here's the thing, it's only available. I mean, you need to get it by the end of April, so we're running out of really? April here. Oh gosh. So I looked around because the people on Twitter last week were saying, "Where can I get it?" Because it's out. Uh, they don't have it in some of the stores. Lancaster Ave, Bryn Mawr, Bethlehem Pike, North Wales, uh, JFK Boulevard, Philly. Uh, Germantown Ave in Philly, uh, basically 21st in Market. There's a liquor store there or a package store. So okay. you got to get it by the end of April. It's a beautiful bottle. It's great, isn't it? Uh, man, yeah. Oh my goodness, Mike. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on now. Uh, seriously, we still have 30 minutes left in the show. I'll be fine. <laughs> well, and that, you do deserve a cowbell for that one. That was impressive. All right, Quincy. More cowbell. Okay, yeah. Need some water over here. It was apple juice, kids. Don't worry.